Today is the day, ladies and gentlemen, the day that we are going to be fully upgrading, finally, the brigade here and the motorcycle, both of them at the same time. Uh, so the reason it's took me a while to get to here, for those of you who don't know, if you want to fully upgrade this thing, you've not only got to complete, obviously, the missions to be able to get it, but then you have to do 10 missions for Dax. And what I mean by that, if you don't know how to fully upgrade this thing, is you go to Dax here, you call him, and you request work. And you can only do it once every 40 eight minutes and you've got to do it ten times so I've been doing that in between obviously the KO Perico heist setup missions and then doing the KO Perico heist and then the next day doing the it's been it's been wild but anyway um, right now we're gonna fully upgrade it and if you don't know why you need to do those ten missions first no worries I'm gonna show you so I think we'll do the acid lab first are you gonna finish talking there buddy or are you gonna let me do this or what Okay, thank you. Um, so the reason you need to do the 10 missions is because if you are doing this business, if you want to make money with the Acid Lab, you have to fully upgrade the Acid Lab. It, it just gives you so much more money. Um, are you going to shut up over there? I'm trying to record a video, man. You done? So anyway, what is it? Acid Lab upgrades. It's this one right here. Equipment upgrade. You can only do this if you do the 10 missions. And you can see right there, what does it do? Increases production speed and the sale value of the product. This is, you have to do this. Think about it. The van itself, or the truck itself, costs 750k. And then 250k for the essential upgrade. So you're looking at a million uh, to be able to take full advantage of this. So of course, are you sure? Boom. No, I don't. I want to continue upgrading it, please. So anyway, we've fully upgraded it, as you guys can now see. So that is the most important thing. We could literally just take this out now and be done with it. But obviously, we're going to fully upgrade this thing. So armor plating, it already comes with the heavy armor. So we're going to keep that on there. Proximity mine. So we can do the kinetic, spike, EMP, slick, or sticky. Uh, what do we think? We'll just do kinetic, or do we do the EMP? I honestly don't know. I'm gonna leave that and have you guys let me know in the comment section because I'm not familiar with all of those and I don't know which one I should be doing. Um, so we're gonna skip on that. And then obviously here, so we have none. We have the light ram, the reinforced ram, heavy ram, and large scoop. I mean, large scoop. Armor, we're gonna be going 100% armor on this thing. Brakes, we're gonna go to race brakes because why the bloody hell not? Uh, engine, level four. We're just gonna go through these quick because you guys don't care about that horn. You know what, we'll just keep the regular horn on it. The lights, headlights, sure, why not? Neon kits, neon layout, we'll do front, back, and sides, just like a haircut. Neon color. You know what, we're gonna do... We're gonna make this thing lime green, you know? Because I'm gonna... We're gonna paint this thing lime green. I want this thing to stand out. And when you think of acid, what color do you think of? Either like acid yellow or acid green. We're going green. Delivery. So we could, you know, the Brickade 6x6 looks kind of cool. It's kind of like the Mercedes G-Wagon, like 4x4, or the 6x6, I guess. So we have this, the... I mean, we're making it lime green, so you might not be able to see that. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool with the globe on it. And it is actually a real world flag, too. It's not even, like, it's, that's, okay, that's cool. Humane Lab and Research, Zebra Stripes, Army Camo. I mean, Army Camo kind of looks cool on something like this. This is the one they have in the picture. I'll put it up on screen right here, if I remember. Uh, they had it in pink. And then we have this one. Oh, was this the one? This is probably the one that they had, actually, now that I think about it. You know what we're going to go for? We're going to go for the Atlas. I think that'll look cool. Um, especially when we paint it. You can't really see it now, but when we paint it, you will. We'll just do the black plates on it. Respray will hold on. Actually, you know what? We'll just do the respray right now. What's the secondary? Let's actually have a look, because I don't know what that is. Oh, the bottom. Interesting. So for the primary, though, like I say, we are going to go like an acid green for this thing. I don't ask why. I just, that's what I'm in the mood for. Boom! Lime green. I think that's it. You know, I don't know what color to go the secondary. So I think I'm actually... I mean, we could just make this look stupid, but I think we'll make it look kind of cool, and we'll go for black. Yeah, we're just going to go black, especially since the black on the side there with the earth. The atlas. I like it. Suspension. You know, on something like this, I kind of prefer it being higher. The higher, the better, right? Unless it does anything, does it help? Nope, doesn't look like it helps anything there. Transmission. Yeah, this is going to help. Acceleration, look at that. Done. Turbo, does it do anything? Yeah, it does. Done. Windows, we'll do a limo on this because why not? Wheels, I kind of like the stock wheels. I mean, does it look stupid if we put something like this on it? <laughs> mm. 
So those are stuck. I kind of want to keep them like off roady. So let's look at off road. Okay, these. I mean, we, we these aren't bad. These aren't bad. We'll probably go for something new here. I like those. I like those. The concave steely is pretty cool too. It's kind of like the uh, the military star wheels or the police issue. I guess that makes more sense. I mean, something like that doesn't look bad either. Or oh, like that. I mean, it's not a race car. We'll go in police issue steely. Wheel color. I mean. Do we go green or black? It's either green like this, just so it all matches, or black. We're going black. Tires, tire design. Yeah, why not? Bulletproof style, bulletproof tires is standard. Tire smoke, we'll just do black. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is our new truck. Before we take, you know what, should we take this out first and then do the motorcycle? Or do we do both of them and then take them both out back to back? We'll do both of them and then take them both out back to back. Look at that beauty. Okay, let's continue. Delivery bike. Armor, obviously, 100%. Belt drive covers. What? It doesn't do anything. Screw it. Brakes, obviously. Race brakes. Engine, obviously, level four. Exhaust. We can do an exhaust on this little fella. Little pea shooter. Little... Um, oh, where's it gone? The back, double back, big back, double big back, <laughs> angled. What the hell is that? Come on now. That kind of looks cool. That kind of looks like what this would have on it. You know what I mean? But that just looks, it looks like the exhaust of my bloody Banshee. Quad exhaust, really. I think we're going to go for this just because it kind of looks like what something like this would have. Fairing? Sure. Front forks. Okay, yeah. Front mud guards. I kind of like having the big one on it, you know what I mean? Do we go big or tiny? We'll go tiny, it looks sportier. So we have a stock seat, a stripped seat, a secondary color seat, or a cross pattern seat. We'll do a secondary color seat because we're going to keep it the same theme, I think, as the actual vehicle. Fuel tank. Do we have the double saddle boxes on it or do we have this little pouch? I kind of like this little pouch, you know. We'll go over the little pouch. Handlebars. So we have the stock one. This one just comes with a little padding just in case you whack your head on it. Protector. And okay, heavy duty protector. We'll go for that. Looks kind of James Bondy. Horn. We'll keep it standard. Lights. Sure. Delivery. Okay. You know, you can actually kind of make this thing look sick, huh? I mean, this is like my channel. I mean, I love these colorways. You know I do. So those are done. We're not going to do it. So respray. We're going to do the primary. We're going to do the same. We're going to do the same as the truck. We've got to keep this thing yeah, so you can tell it's part of us. You know what I mean? Lime green, baby. Secondary color. We're going to do black again to be similar to our truck right here. I think we're looking pretty slick. Transmission. Hell yeah. Turbo? Hell yeah. Wheels? You can do wheels on this thing? Front wheel, rear wheel, what? You can do different wheels? Well, this is interesting. I mean, this is kind of like a race bike. It does kind of look more like a James Bond thing though, right? So this is what is between either the snowflake, which looks sick, or something like this, which just looks, it's different. I don't think anyone would, does people use this thing? You know what I mean? It's We kind of want it to look in, you know, bulletproof and more industrial looking. I think this just looks better. You know what? We're just going to go for the snowflake. I just think it looks better. We could do a disc on the back instead. What do we think? Do we do two separate wheels or do we both do both of them the same? We're going to do the disc on the back. I never thought I would do two different wheels, but it's just, you know, it is what it is. This is more of our industrial bike. You know what I mean? We've got to keep the back one looking solid. Lime green? Nah, black. Do we do a, a white wall tire on it? No, we don't. It looks bloody stupid. They're already bulletproof. Smoke, we'll just do it black. And that's it. Okay, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. So these are the two vehicles we have. So I think, first of all, we'll take out the motorcycle, the smaller one. We are looking bloody sick, if you ask me. All right, here she is. Here she bloody is. The sun is going down, so it's kind of harder to see. But let's take this thing up here. We can get a better look at it. How fast is it? What time is it in the game? Okay, the sun is going down. You know what? It's nothing to write home about, is it? Let's be honest. It's nothing to write home about. But this is our new delivery vehicle. It's kind of cool. I like it. This is it. Another thing, guys, before I get in here, please let me know in the comments how the quality of the video is. Because um, we are... 
how I am making it in true 4K now. True 4K. So just let me know if the FPS or anything like that's been bad or if the quality doesn't look great or if you're like, damn, no, this looks good. I would love to know. All right, here she is. Now, I did take this thing out when I first bought it and it did drive awful. I mean, it's not... <laughs> I think it's just the turning on this thing that is absolutely bloody god awful. But here we have her. What do we think? The sun is going down so you don't get the beauty of it. But we got the green and black with the, the underglow. I think she's looking mean. <laughs> I just wanted something different. I feel like everyone's going like black or, you know, red or just dark colors. I think having this in like a lime green, it just looks cool. It looks cool. So the sun's going down. I wonder if we go up. Can we get a better view on this thing? It's got the little backup beepers. I mean, it looks... I think this thing looks sick. I think it looks sick. You guys can let me know in the comment section. Uh, how did you do yours? Ours kind of looks like a racing van, man. Let me know what liveries you put on yours, but I think... Did I put any... No, I didn't put any um, oil slicks or anything on this, did I? Yeah, also let me know on that. What should I do? I didn't see proximity mine or anything like that to drop out the back, so I don't really know what to put out the back of this thing, but... This is it, and I think it is drop-dead gorgeous, so you can let me know, like I say, what you think of yours, or what yours is and what you think of mine, and uh, I think I, honestly, I'm really happy the way this thing turned out. Alright, so you're probably wondering anyway, how does the, how does this, how does this help doing that fully upgrade on it? Well, it's just going to give you, it's going to be faster and it's going to give you more uh, money for each time you do it. Instead of like, I think it's like 250 you get for, for one of these, fully upgrading it, you get like 340 or something like that. So it's 60,000, we're going to buy supplies, are you sure? Yes. There we go. I'll have a delivery v delivery video I was trying to say here um, I'll have a delivery video on the channel probably sometime this week um, I haven't done a delivery in this thing yet I can't imagine it's anything too crazy but we're gonna be doing it on our new motorcycle so be sure to stick around for that um, this week also is this thing just got zero gravity like it just flew over that thing like it had zero gravity man um, but this week I'm also doing another KO Perico heist video I did one, I think it was yesterday, or the day before, just talking about how it's not broken and it still does work perfectly fine. Um, but I'm gonna be doing like another kind of like, oh look, there's a lime green bike here. Everything just fits perfectly. Um, I'm gonna be doing another KO Brico Heist video, just doing it, as, showing you how to do it as fast as possible. Um, and I'll, if you are interested, you can still do the replay glitch. I haven't done it myself, but I have seen online uh, how to do it. So if anyone wants me to do a video on that, let me know in the comments and I will do so. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think of this in the comments section down below. And until tomorrow, I'll be seeing you. Goodbye.